and start changing your name to fit the description of the case. Um, there are some dragons that were sent out. They were not returned and they were allegedly sent to the founder of the family. She is a new host. So let's go ahead and start changing our names. We need, um, we need our um, stenographers. We need our um, bailiff is in house. We have a bailiff. We need our clerk of courts. We need our ushers. Everyone go ahead and start changing your names right now. I'm gonna give you guys two minutes to do that. Attorney is here. The attorney for the plaintiff, the receipts are here. The receipts are in the building. The bailiff, hello bailiff. Thank you. Thank you, bailiff. All right, anybody else is here? I see the receipts. <laughs> I see the lawyer. I see the bailiff. Hi, lawyer. Hello. Hello, attorney. Hello. Um, who else is here? Who Ms. else Warren is here? She was, you need um, your dragons. Oh. Oops. Okay, someone needs their dragons. I like that. So the dragons are here. Deep, those are your dragons. Those are your dragons down there. So they're here. <laughs> okay, who else? Sweet. Go ahead and change your guys' names. Go ahead and change your names that fit the name of what's going on in court. The real judge, change your name. Come on, I need to see more name changes. So let's change your names. Court will be starting in a minute. I need everyone to go ahead and change your names. Change your names. Let me close my suitcase. Change your names. Change your names. Okay. Is everyone changing their names to fit the court case? I think I charge this phone. It's charging. Is everyone changing your names? Perfect. There you go. Jury. Jury two. I need jury one. I need jury three. Jury four. The sheriff is here. Thank you, sheriff. Well, I needed you, sheriff. Jury three. Jury four. Public defender. Thank you. Don't say nothing else. All right. The public defender advises you not to say nothing else. Uh, juror five, Philmon Langley, change your name to juror five. Judge Imp is here. Judge, the judge is here. Thank you. I owe you nada. Okay. So I owe you nada, Stan. They owe you nothing deep. Um, we'll see what happens with your case because right now you have an I owe you nada. You have two attorneys. You have a public defender. The sheriff is here probably to take you down for lying. The bank is here. The bank. The bank that you allegedly called and pulled those dragons back deep is here. The bank is here. The bank is here. The deputy of court is here. Everybody's here. Oh my gosh, change your name to juror number six. Your security is here. Hello, security. Hi, bank. The bondsman is here. Everyone change. Somebody, I need a bondsman. I need a bondsman. I need a magistrate. I need a stenographer. I need a court reporter. Thank you, Judge Peon. I don't need, okay, I'm the only judge, honey. I don't need a judge assistant, honey. Judge Imp is already here. I want a full description so that I can make a period a fair verdict. Thank you. I need a full description of the case so that I can make a fair verdict. So is everybody here? Public defender, where is Bigo? <laughs> Jury number two, right, only one judge, period. <laughs> Clerk of courts, deputy, court reporter, thank you. Nosy Norris is here. Nosy ass Norris is here. All right, Punkin, change your name to juror number seven. Punkin, juror number seven. I got it. Jamal, all right, public defender, change your name. The executioner is here. Not that somebody's going to get executed tonight. The bondsman is here. Hey, the witness, <laughs> Jessica Lewis is here. Jessica Lewis, change your name to the witness. Mason is a witness. How many witnesses do we have? Nosy Norris, hello. No Norris is always so nosy. All right, so we're well, gonna Ms. go ahead and do that. Miss One is my real right witness, though. In the big box, plaintiff, make sure I'm able to hear you. Let Can me turn my me? phone up as well. Make sure it's not me. Not the judge, don't knock the phone down. Oh, this is a ghetto judge, honey. The judge knocked the whole phone down, period, judge. All right. All right, we back, y'all. Jesus, Jesus. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. Loud and clear. Okay. Five hundred dollars was good money. You see the bank? The bank said five hundred dollars was good money. Ooh, shy. That's what the bank said. All right, y'all. Let me put you back up. That's my phone down. Um, um, the other hotel. So this is get on. We already have a bailiff. We always have a bailiff. There's so many names. You can be the court reporter, the stenographer. There's so many names you can choose. Judge Imp says, okay, everyone, let's be fair. 
court reporter says, I won't report the judge knocking the phone down and bad. Okay, I'm so sorry. I will not curse again and forgive me. All right, right hand. Deep, do you solemnly swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do, yes. Perfect. Now, do we have the do we have the founder in the building? I gave you two dragons and got nothing back. Okay, dragons, you see that. All right, so um, number one, Deep, have you ever been to one of my court cases? Have you ever seen one? Yes, I have. Okay, so you know they get a little fun in the court. Okay, so you get it. Oh, so yeah, far, yeah. you're telling the truth. No lies are detected at this time. Okay, and the bank is saying they never mess. You go, whew, already. All right, so let's do it, okay? No lying roach. Oh, look on your wall. Oh, my God. Is there a roach on your wall, ma'am? It's not. It's just a joke. <laughs> I know I know. <laughs> look, I didn't even have to look behind me because I know ain't no roach. No, look, I didn't even. <laughs> the real empress in the building, right? That looked like, okay. No, there's no roach in your wall. That was a comment. Y'all be nice to the lovely lady. She's here for content and show you, give y'all a good time. All right. So basically, you guys, let's go ahead and start. So I'm Judge Empress. Welcome to my court. So my first question is, my love, is um, how long have you been a Bego host? How long have you been a Bego host? This is my first month. I started um, October 1st. All right. So is it fair to say as a Bego host that's less than a month old, you didn't come on the app with money in your account? You had to put money on your account, basically, correct? Correct. All right. All right. So, um what would you say is the amount of money that you put on your account? Well, on my bingo account, um, I uploaded for to send her two dragons, which was about. Um, well, I got a little bit more, though, than two dragons when I, uh, you know, with all the diamonds, but it came up to be about almost four hundred and fifty dollars. OK, so four hundred and fifty dollars got you about two dragons and um, a couple of shells. Right. Exactly. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, now, approximately what day do you feel as though um, you uploaded that money? And if you can't give me the direct day, can you give me at least a month or just a time frame? Yes, I can give you the date. Let me bring it up just a minute. We can bring it up. All right, so um, this is um, gonna go ahead and be um, put into um, evidence. Um, the witness is bringing up the exact date of the um, transaction in which she added 400 plus odd dollars to her Beagle account as a new host, okay? Okay, and we will wait. Um, everyone just come on in tonight. This, is, this case is called Two Dragons Sent zero return this is our plane of deep she's actually suing profit her founder her founder and we'll go ahead and announce that family momentarily for two dragons um deep is telling us that she's been a host for less than one month and um so far within um less than a month she's already been taken on a ride and been taken on a ride and two dragons have already been taken from her um, 400 some odd dollars have already been taken from her. Mm -hmm. Oop, deputy of um, Department of Correction said somebody's going to get booked tonight. Oh, Jesus. It's getting too dangerous now. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for the gifts. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. All right. So, th yeah, that's the update, you guys. So far, um, her founder, um, we'll go ahead and share the founder's information in a second, has basically taken um, money um, from her allegedly allegedly okay this is what the plaintiff deep is claiming and we're going to pull the receipts and get down to the bottom just so you guys know the founder of the family is not in the room as of yet but she is more than welcome to come and rebuttal okay. <clears throat> he's to clear the name hello now, i don't want to show all this though but not um, all of i live in i live in louisiana in the country so this is how we upload our money but I'm gonna just show it on here. You can see I went to the family dollars and put $500 on my cash app. Can y'all see that? I put $500 on my cash app. And $499 what, was put on her cash app. Oh, here it is right here. Period. All right, paper money deposit, 
$499 at the family dollar. That is the uh, receipt that we see. All righty. And what date was that? Um, It says Saturday. Let me see here. So it'll be last Saturday. Saturday yes. being the what? Third? Yeah, it had 20th. to be about the 23rd. Yes. All yes. right. Let me see. So, all right. So let's go ahead and submit that into evidence that as of Saturday, October the 23rd, 2021, <laughs> Deep. <laughs> he told me, say, I'm like, what did I do, public defender? What? Public defender. I, know I shouldn't have showed it. I shouldn't have showed it. <laughs> okay. Well, you didn't, you didn't okay. No, I don't think she, they're saying you're a dummy for showing the um, receipt. But for, for, for putting that, okay, I get it. Yeah, for getting duped, for let her rob. Yes, 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 I get it, yes. I, I was, and I'm gonna say it again, and I and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I was scammed and I was robbed, and we're gonna go through it, and she's gonna, and we're gonna. I was scammed. That's what it was. I was scammed. But I'm sorry. Go ahead. We can go on with the case. But you see, I uploaded the money because we had talked, but we had talked previously before this as well, and I let her know. I was going to send her the dress. She said, okay, blah, 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 whatnot, or whatever. And so then right. I went to Family Look, Dollars. Hold on. hold on. Let's keep some control because you'll lose the people that are coming in. So we're going to ask some beautiful questions, and you're going to give okay. me your honest because you're under oath, okay? So let's start. Okay. You've already told us that you've been on a Beagle host for at least one month. And we just found out that you did put $499 on your Beagle account on October 23rd, 2021. Now, can you tell us why you put that money on your account? To send my founder dragon so that um I could get a PK with the rebate and um reach my quota for my first month being on Bigo. Perfect. You can't get any clearer than that. So let the record be known. This young lady recharged her account like any no new host would trying to do business. She recharged her account, she said, allegedly for her founder. She wanted to give her founder two dragons so that she could at least get a PK date and have someone to come back and give her support in the form of an alliance. Okay? Everybody's following me. All right. So basically, tell us the type of conversation or text message you had with your founder in, in regards to this deal. Okay. Well, um, prior to that, you know, she when I used to come in and out of her room and stuff like that, and even previously, you know, she's one of the people that, you know, you can go on her panel. She'll like tell your fortune or whatever. And, you know, she did that for me. And, you know, I used to go in and out of her room and things like that. So when I became a host, though, and I let her know I'm going to become a host, and she was like, you're more than welcome to join my family, you know, whatnot or whatever. And I was like, cool. You know, I've seen her. You know, she seemed cool. I had even seen her on other panels and things like that. I, You know, I, I didn't know her like that, you know, even business-wise, and I should have thought twice. But I was like, okay, this might be a okay fit, you know. It seems like she might be okay. You know, she talked about, you know, they do big deals, and, you know, she – knows how to, you know, meet quotas and, you know, all the, you know, all the founder talk, you know, to, you know. Yeah. Well, thank you. All right. So let's just go ahead and um, elaborate on that. Met a cool girl on the app, told the cool lady, hey, I'm going to be a host. Hey, when you become a host, you can join my family. Cool. Let's do it. She liked how she talked. She liked her bigo lingo. She liked the cool vibe. So she became a host and she joined her family. All right. So if everyone don't understand what we're doing right here, if everybody touch her name, she's in the super stinks family. She's in the super stinks family, not the super tinks, the super stinks. And the name of the founder just so happened to be Prophet, a lovely lady that I actually know. Thank you, KK. Her um, name is Prophet. Remember, KK, I got a big event on the second with that family. I need gifts. Okay. Hey, second indictment. All right. So now she became a host. Can you basically tell us um, what date? Now, before I ask you that question, remember, you guys, whoever has the best name and whoever has the best comment, I'm going to give out two lunch prizes by cash out when the case is over. Remember how we do it over here. Whoever has the best name and whoever and whoever stays in character with their name and has the best comments, right? 
you know you win lunch if you guys don't know you do win lunch all right and if i'm feeling cashy i may have more winners all right and we'll do it by you have to have a cash app yep so make sure you have and then and the roach not the roach lord and the name has to match the case all right so basically the name of the case is two dragon sent zero return two dragon sent zero return she was in a family she has a founder she put 499 dollars on the app she sent this money allegedly to her founder she hasn't gotten anything back but it gets deeper it gets a little more thicker than this okay all right so now this is my question what day do you feel as though you did your beagle host audition she do she do um, i think that was on uh, it had to be the last Tuesday in September. Okay. Would, All right. So yeah, it was. I think it was, it was the oh. last Tuesday in September. Okay. So you basically getting ready to get your October built up. Right. Right. Wow. Okay. So I was getting right. stuff started and you know just trying to you know things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So let the record stands that she did do a um host audition the last week in September, and that's when she found her family. She joined the family called the Super stinks she put 499 dollars on october the 23rd on her bego account and she sent out two dragons to um the lovely um prophet so what we're going to do now is bring up the receipts can is, is, does anyone see any receipts around is there any receipts lying around any receipts anywhere any receipts i'm looking for receipts receipts is there any receipts in the building receipts Hello, receipts. I see the bailiff. Any receipts? I need the receipts to say something, please. Receipts. Any receipts in the building? The collection is here. No receipts. All righty. Pay $499. I see the prosecutor. What about the receipts? I'm looking for the receipts. Somebody to four hundred and ninety nine dollars. <laughs> Jesus. All right. We have the receipts in the building. The receipts are in the building. OK, so you don't mind. Um, as soon as you can, go ahead and um, go ahead and screen share um, your. Um, your box so that we can go ahead and get into these receipts okay hello everybody welcome while we get the receipts um together today is a case called two dragons sent zero return this is our plaintiff her name is deep um and well deep lugubrious and she um became a host at the end of september and she made a deal to start off fresh in october with her founder of the super stinks the founder's name is profit and they made a deal for two dragons. This lovely lady put $499 on her Beagle account on October 23rd, 2021. And those dragons were sent out. And we have the receipts to show you. We have the receipts. I'm waiting on your receipts to screen share whatever you're going to do. We are waiting on the receipts. Screen. Do you know how to screen share receipts? You go down and screen oh, share your but it's not in here it's not showing screen share oops period receipts that's interesting so did they take the screen share portion off of they did take they did remove the screen share bigo y'all killing us this is crazy they took the, I don't see it. It's not there. When did Beagle do this? Oh my God, Beagle. Prophet says, sorry, I'm late. Hi, Prophet. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and have to show you the receipts because receipts, you already have your receipts on that phone, correct? Right, yeah. All right. All right, you guys, everyone say hello and goodbye to the receipts. Oh, um, we know receipts, you look good up there. 
Yeah, they updated, but they took the receipts away. No, the host, I should be the only one that should be able to screen share. All week long, we have people screen sharing all week long. We do this all the time. All of us can screen share. Yeah. The screen share is gone. I wonder why they took that off. Interesting. You can't even share the live? <laughs> All right, so just for the moment, I do have the receipts. Don't worry, I am prepared. So I'm going to go ahead and get in the big box, and I'm going to show you my receipts that I received. Screen shares at the top. Are you sure screen shares at the top? Oh, the share button is at the top. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. Yeah, they deep. See how deep they are? They, mm, they, you and the, they, <laughs> the comment is <laughs> real. Mm. All right. So I, and I wrote these exhibits down. So basically, the first thing I'm going to show you is profit. I'm going to show you her big ID. This is the um, um, family co-founder, the family founder, I'm sorry. Exhibit B would be the page that actually sent the dragons. Thank you, sonographer. And exhibit C would be this young lady's actual host page and receivings. And then exhibit D would be the weekly gift and report of profits page, the person that received the dragons, all right? So let's get into it. All right, so let me go ahead and switch my box here. All right, and let's get down to it. All right, so the first receipt we have here is actually the page of her founder profit. We have this beautiful thing ready for y'all everything was laid out we was gonna gag y'all because the receipts had the receipt all right and now look okay so this is profits page everybody this is profit this is the founder all right her name is profit erin okay if you notice she has a family um badge of the super stinks profit erin thank you bailiff now, this is actually the Fufu page. If you look at this Fufu page, it sends a lot of gifts. If you look at this Fufu page, this Fufu page has sent a lot of gifts out. And we're going to prove that this Fufu page is actually on Prophet Aaron's account. Okay. Oops, family of the super thieves. Oh, my God. Now, this page is actually her hosting page. And if you notice, her hosting page is in the Super Stinks. So basically, if you look on her page now, she's still in the Super Stinks. Okay. I want everybody to know, don't join you. Okay. Now, let's get into weekly contributions. The reason why I'm going to show you um, the weekly contributions is because she sent these dragons less than seven days ago. That's the only way you can go on someone's page and have a weekly contribution. It has to happen within a week's time. Mm -hmm. So right here, if you look for the week, the first name you see is who? Who is the first name you see for the weekly? And if you guys want more, I got all the receipts. Don't play with me, period, Empress Move. If you guys want to see closer, it's blurry. Well, if you can't see, all you have to do is go on Deke's page, look in her weekly contributions. You will see Prophet Aaron's page and go look at Prophet, Prophet Aaron's weekly contributions if you want a closer look. Hit Deke's page, go to or zoom in, period, or zoom in, double click, double click this and zoom in. No lies detected. Thank you, God. Double click, you guys, and zoom in. This is her weekly contributions. This is what she sent to Profit's page. Now, we're going to show you what Profit Aaron 
sent to her. This is what prophet Aaron sent to her for the week. She sent her 778 beans. 778 beans. One of the um, jurors says she's playing in your face. Do you she agree is. with that juror's comments that say she's playing in your face? She's absolutely playing in my face, and she's and they're going to absolutely know she's playing in my face by the fake email receipt that you're about to pull up next. Okay. Yes. So basically, sent out two dragons, which total, you guys saw the total, right? It was one. What was the receipt of the two dragons? One nine nine one nine 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 eight, correct? Mm -hmm. That was the total, and that's exactly how much she sent her overall, correct? All right. So once she sent the dragon, the two dragons, she received seven hundred and seventy-eight beans. Now remember, guys, all of this happened in one week. One week. Now let me just say this. There's some people that get scammed over a month. This lady didn't wait but a week. I mean, the, 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 the two dragons still fresh in the weekly. Some people, hey, Sydney, some people get scammed in over a month's time. She waited a week. She's quick. Hey, Farrell, she's quick. Hey, Sid, right? I agree. Objection, ma'am. Uh-uh. Overruled. No, sir. Because I have proof. I'm able to say that. Thank you very much. Excuse me, Judge. Can I add something, though, please? Yes, yeah, I think that we might have. And actually, it was two days after I sent her the dragons. She came into my room with an entourage. It seemed like it was a setup. They came into my room. They bomb rushed me. They told me I was a thief. There was somebody in there called her security or something like that. I opened a panel and they all told me how, you know, oh, like she talking about she wasn't going to be able to return my dragons or, you know, for my PK. And then she kind of was like, I don't know. It seemed like it was a setup when they came because everybody rushed in my room like it was a setup. And then she said, here's the email I got. And then you're going to see. And it was, and then when you got it, she sent me a fake email. She sent me a fake email saying that she received fake beans. And then I realized it because I contacted somebody else on the app who's, who's known, you know, and I said, you know, he said, let me see. He said the same thing. He said, she planning in your face. That's not even a real big old email. Let's see. So I, like she said, I contacted Bigo myself because I know I use Cash App. I put the money on there and I knew my beans was good. And so they, really? and she oh, said, oh, they ain't going to contact you back unless you VIP. So Freedom knows that some, she said, Freedom says she knows somebody else. That's what that family does. All right. So let's talk about it. So to go ahead and back up Deep's um, allegations, I'm going to pull up another receipt. After she sent the two dragons, she received 778 beans. And then, like she said, a gang slew through her live and started talking this and that. And then out of the blue, the founder pulls up this receipt. I don't know why my receipts and everything is winding up slow, but they're taking their time. The founder pulls up this receipt. This receipt basically says, I received the legal beans. So I am going to assume that when she pulled up this letter, she was trying to say, girl, I received the legal beans and they came from you. Do you agree that's what you think she was trying to claim? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Fake email says and did. Excuse me, fake email? <laughs> <laughs> this is a mess. Dude, they come quick, don't they? <laughs> Very start. Fake email came about three minutes ago. I saw when she first came in the room. All right, so here is what she sent. I'm going to make this as big as possible. And it says, Dear Beagle Broadcaster, 22,678 abnormal beans will be deducted from your balance. 22,678, not 1,998, 
1998 is the two dragons that she sent but it says two 22,678. Mm-hmm. Um, normal beans will be deducted from your balance. If your bean balance is insufficient, we will deduct diamonds or baggage items of equivalent value. If you are assigned BC or broadcaster with us, your live data will be updated the next day. Please check it carefully in case your commission is affected eventually. If you have any questions, please contact us via feedback page B um, Bego Live. Here's the receipt. Let me make that big for you. October's rent is still due. October's rent, who is supposed to pay you? Who are you? Who's supposed to pay you October's rent? My, my, my October rent being paid. <laughs> I mean, you think I'm going to take money out of my household like that? Mm -mm, that was, you know, I was just well, trying to invest in myself. But I get it, though. I, you know, I get it. So, October rent, you're lying because Deep has already paid you. You're lying. Yes, rent's been paid. Also, the bank is saying no one contacted. All right, so let me tell you guys what happened after that. So after you receive this, tell me what did you do? After you received this from Prophet Aaron, what did you do? Okay, so as she sent it when she was still in my live, she said, check your WhatsApp. So I checked it and, you know, I at the time, you know, it kind of caught me off guard because when, you know, you got people bum rushing in your room, you open a panel, they looking at you like you a thief, like you done, you know, got over on, you know, you're trying to get over or something like that. So I told her, hold on, I'm going to reach out to Bigo because something's not right. And I use my cash app. She was like, well, your bank probably took it. I said, my bank has nothing to do with this because I had the money on my cash app and you can't what is it a uh, refund or you know do disputes on cash app that's why i always use cash app because you I can't dispute that no objection no no overrule <laughs> the fact still remains so, that she should, that she pull up that cash app receipt please d no overrule because she showed her cash app receipt earlier of 499 dollars her bank has nothing to do with this it went through cash app thank you very much objection it went through cash app period thank you overrule thank you you see what that that's it and come close it says on the 23rd of october from family dollar that's how she went and took care of that transaction so that she'll be able to track it and it wouldn't be connected to her bank. She did not want it connected to her bank. That part. That's what she did as a smart businesswoman. Period. So objection, you are overruled. Okay. And so and so when she was in there and I said, Well, I'm about to contact Bigo. She said, oh, well, they don't get back with you unless you VIP or it can take months for them to get back with you. But you know me, I'm not taking no for an answer. So I'm still contacting them like, hold on. And I did, I'm, you know, and, they, and I sent screenshots to them because you can upload three screenshots when you contact Bigo fee. So I did mine, hers, and then the um, email she sent me. And so I sent it to them. Less than 24 hours, Bigo contacted me back with my next evidence that I had placed with the judge. And she Period. can show you what Bigo told me. No VIP, no response. Come on, Bigo. Bigo Admin. Oh, wow. And this Bigo Admin. Oh, my God. You need to spell your name right. Come on. Bingo. Oh, Bingo Admin. Okay. Bingo Admin. Say no VIP, no response. So, less than 24 hours. So, listen to what this new host said. I have a lot of hosts come in my room crying about, I don't know what to do. I don't do, 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 do. This new host said she took a picture of her transaction she took a photo of this email that was sent to her by her founder profit and she pulled up the feedback at bigo.tv sent in her bank transactions from um from cash shop and said listen can you tell me what's going on i'm gonna pull up the, you know i had to pull the seat up honey this girl sent a beautiful detailed letter with Bigo IDs to Bigo to find out what is going on. I sent this money, but it's my my founder saying I gave her bad beans. Let me go ahead to this receipt and look and, and what did Bigo tell you? B 
Ego told me that there were no refunds on my account and there were no pretty much no bad being sent or anything like that. And they even apologized for the inconvenience. Bigo apologized to me for the inconvenience. Yes. Yeah. Say that loud. See there, see? Say see? that loud people in the back. Bigo apologized for the inconvenience. And then they checked their system because Bigo has a system. Bigo has a system. They can see what you've done, what you uploaded, what you charge, what you charge back, all of that. But they said I had nothing on that account. Because even as she said, on my gifting account, I send out a lot of beans. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the receipt to back up that. Now, the thing about the receipt that we received from Prophet Aaron, it didn't come directly from Bigo or it wasn't taken from, it wasn't a screenshot taken from her inbox from Bigo. It's like it was sent, it could have been anybody's email. Bigo could have sent it to her, could have sent it to Deep, it could have sent it to anybody because she didn't pull, she didn't pull, she didn't take a screenshot of the message directly from Bigo. It's like she took it and she put it in. That's how I look at it. So I want to show y'all this receipt here. Y'all can bear with me. This receipt is the one from Bigo. Okay. Why it's taking so long? I don't know why, but it'll be up in a second. I don't know why these things are taking forever. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, she did copy and paste. And actually, it was fake. It was fake. It was a fake email. Now, how do you feel about all this right now? I'm just, I mean, I feel very deep lugubrious right now. And the fact that it's only been seven days, what made you come forward so quickly? Because I don't play about my business. I don't care if it's $20. I don't care if it's $2. My money is my money. I work hard for my money. I am a single mother. I have two teenagers back there, okay? And then all I was trying to do was invest in myself maybe because I see some people on here do it. I had a little bit to work with. Maybe I can get with somebody I trust or whatever, but you just can't do that. You just, you know, I'm just hurt. I mean, I'm just, you know, for it to be scammed. And, you know, it seemed like, you know, people just want to just take advantage of people and just use people up, steal from people. That woman's heart is black to even do something like that to somebody. My heart isn't even set up like that. My character and my judge, the people that I hang around outside of Bigo, we don't even talk about hurting people, putting people down. We don't even call women out of their names or anything like that. I'm so sorry. That woman is evil. That woman is an evil woman and they set me up. They came in my room, they ambushed me, they sent me a fake email and set me up and they stole my money and my dragon. So let me go it's ahead. It's not right. So let me go ahead and read this letter that was sent um, from her to Bigo. And at the top of the page, it does say Bigo feedback. It doesn't come across in the screenshot that I had to just take. It says Bigo, Bigo feedback at the top of the page. I'll put the receipts up on my page later. So basically, she says, my leader, dear Bigo, my leader found a prophet says she got bad beans letter where my beans are bad. My ID is she gave him her ID. Please help my beans. Help me with my beans and money was taken. So I'm not sure what's going on. So she's telling Bigo, please help me. My beans and money was taken. Please help me. OK, so Bigo replies back. Bigo replied back to her, you guys, and Bigo says, Dear user, thank you for contacting Bigo, Bigo Live Feedback. We truly apologize for any misunderstanding regarding your concern. After checking in our system, your account haven't refund records so that normal beans shouldn't be sent from your end. You can confirm with the host again. Your understanding and patience toward this would be highly appreciated. Please kindly rate my service for five stars great motivation. Should you need any further assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you. 
for choosing Beagle Live. Regards, Daniel Beagle Deep Top TV. Yep, there you have it right there. That's it right there. That's it right there. And they even apologize for the inconvenience because I am very much inconvenienced right now. Very much inconvenienced. That woman, right. you know, to, to do that to somebody, to even have the mind frame or the heart to even want to set somebody up and do what kind of person are you? Look, honestly, what kind of person are you to have it in your heart to want to steal from somebody? I don't want to steal from nobody. I work hard. I'm a single mother. What goes around comes around. Karma is a motherfucker. Let me calm down, though, because I don't want to get too, because I will get worked up. I really will, but I'm just trying to stay calm. But, you know, what goes around what, comes around, and you and that lady has a dark soul. We won't judge you on this panel. You you want to express your real feelings, do so. I'm sorry it happened to you, but there's an agent in the comment wanting to know, what's the name of your agency? My oh my oh I'm not in her agency. I'm in somebody what? else's agency. Your agency. I'm in um Trina B's agency. Okay, perfect, no problem. You, you didn't want did to reach that? out to Trina, and I did reach out to Trina B, and he knows about it and everything. But since I got out of his family and joined, you know, he said, you know, if it was dealing with the agency. He would be able to help, but since I'm in their family, he has his own family. That's two separate issues, and I get it, and I'm logical to understand that. You know what I mean? I get it. I understand. It's not his family. It wasn't, you know, it, I did it. You know, Trina, he don't have nothing to do with this. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, and we'll leave it at that. And what's the name of that agency? Clapback. Clapback agency. Okay. We'll take it. Mm -hmm. So you clapping back today. <laughs> All right. So basically, um, after you sent her this letter from Bigo, what was the response? Okay. So I received that letter from Bigo. So right away, I screenshotted it and I sent her, I sent it to her. But then I noticed she hasn't checked her WhatsApp in like a day or so. And so it had me kind of wondering because then I had sent her a message because she told me that next day, that Wednesday, she came in like that too. I work overnight. So it was about 3 a.m. that morning because, you know, that's when I do my hours and stuff like that. I'm a night owl. I, you know, I kind of do panels with um, a night crew. You know what I mean? We all work night shift. And um, so it was like that Tuesday morning. And then she was like, well, I guess your PK is on Wednesday, you know, or whatever. But I never even heard from her on Wednesday. I even sent her a message. And then I noticed she still never even checked that WhatsApp. So I'm even thinking she gave me a fake WhatsApp number. Because she never, ever checked it. And then I was still saying, I was like, what's up? Can I, you know, I mean, why she never responded? But then today, all of a sudden, when you contact her, she contacted me saying, you know, Oh, she needed to see proof, this, whatever, but you have it right there. I sent you what Bigo sent me. And she even oh. said it on there. Am I on the right phone? Oh, I think I'm on the wrong phone with my the WhatsApp that she sent it on because we all have a lot of different numbers and things. So let's be clear. I did, I have to reach out to all the defendants involved in the case out of respect. I want them to be aware that they are going up for court. So respectfully, of course, I reached out to her, number one. Number two, I do know of her. She used to come out to my panel, hang out, and, you know, we were all good. We never did any business, but she was always around. We had a little riffraff, but, you know, we got past that and we let it be. The girl's big ID is Prophet Aaron. Um, we can show the receipt again if needed. Prophet Aaron with the P-R-O-P-H-E-T-E-R-I-N. Okay, so basically, um, when I spoke with her today, um, she did kind of, you know, it was some little extra stuff going on in the conversation a little bit. And she sent me, a, she was telling me we were getting in legal beans. And, you know, I just listened to her. And I was basically just telling her, listen, um, she's going to go up on court for you today. I just want to let you know, if you want to come through, you are more than welcome to. And she was telling me about, I'll send you another picture from one of my family members that she sent gifts to, um, and she got illegal beans. Did you send gifts to another family member? No. She's the only one. Oh. Well, she did say she was going to send me another picture from another family member that you sent gifts to. And, um, yeah. 
Well, we and see Bigo contacted me and said, I don't have any refunds or anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, okay, so for a lot of you guys in the comments that are not host and you may be thinking about becoming host, number one, you have to choose a decent agency, one that will at least teach you if you ask a question, at least they'll know. And also, you know, someone that's want to make you be okay. And you want to, and you also want to choose an agency that you can find. There are some people that are agents that you can't find because they don't host. So you want to hold an agent that you can come in, um, watch, focus, look, and talk to them at some point. Now, I'm an agency. I'm not going to say my relationship with all my hosts are good because you're dealing with so many personalities. But what I can say is I don't owe my hosts anything. I don't owe anybody any money. And if any of my hosts want to respectfully come to me and work, I'm going to choose them first. I like working with my host. I like my host a lot. For some reason, I trust them and we work in a circle. Now, I do have hosts that don't work with me at all. And those are the hosts that get upset. They start cursing. Amp don't do this. Amp don't do that. But I got I, you guys got to know I'm a businesswoman first. If you help yourself, I am going to help you. If you want to do big business with me, I'm going to even double your money and show you how to slowly, you know, pay it back. So I will help. So the fact that she just sent the beans this week, the illegal... Okay, and we were going to get to that. That's actually on my note. Um, agency para. So um, you guys just be mindful. It's your money, but I take care of my people. I won't owe you. You will always owe me. And if I get Um, my peace of mind is priceless. And I just had to push someone away from me that's in my agency. He owes me about 15 dragons. I'm like, you know what? He can have them. He called me a scammer, a liar, a dirty F-U-C-K, a B-I-T-C-H. And I'm good on him because he wanted too much attention. And the things I was showing him, he didn't want to learn. So I told him it's going to be too hard working with him. And I had to let him go. And he can have them dragons. Respectfully. Yeah. So... Ladies and gentlemen um, of the court, please be mindful, period. Para says dragons as well, right? Be mindful, be mindful, be mindful so you don't get scammed. One thing I can say about Dee, she didn't let it go on a month. She caught it in one, one week. That that about $499 could have been $899. It could have been $1,099, but she stopped it. She peaked something wasn't right, and she said, I need to go and have a uh, talk with Empress. So the thing about me, I'm not accusing profit of anything. I'm just letting the facts talk for themselves. I'm just letting the receipts speak, okay? I'm not accusing her of anything. But what we can do is say, uh, my comment. what I can do is say, this young lady came. She showed us the money she put. She showed us where the dragons went. If you look on her, um, her contribution board, you can see that she only received 778 beans. If you look on her uh, um, profits board, profit received two dragons. Also, profit sent her a letter about 22K in, in, in illegal beans. She only sent her 19K in illegal beans. So she showed us proof on the um, letter from Bigo saying, girl, your account is solid. Nothing came from your account. Sorry for the um, inconvenience that we caused you, but please tell the user that the beans didn't come from you. So now what Para was saying so eloquently in the comments is, this what threw me. If she sent her dragons seven days within a seven day parameter, there's no way in hell, excuse me, courts, that Beagle will send you back an abnormal bean response in your inbox in seven days nope nope not that fast if you receive illegal beans see so say for instance if she would have processed a call and i'm going to go ahead and dispute that dispute has to process first the dispute has to process through her bank 
her bank then needs to go to Beagle and pull that money. Then Beagle will have to look it up and see who it came from. It's a process. That process cannot happen within three days. She can't reload her account on the 23rd, throw these dragons on the 25th, and then profit gets an abnormal request, an abnormal um, inbox on the 27th. That's not how this goes. So for that, something is extremely fishy, fishy, fishy in the fish tank. Right. Um, please go and vote for me for the gala 2021. I am Empress Paris. I bring you content, solid, real, true stories, no storylines, facts. And this, thank and you. Somebody said that I should drop her badge, and I am going to drop her badge, but I wanted to bring it to court so people know what family not to join, that they are evil that they will scam you and then they will jump into your room. They will ambush you in your room when you're live, trying to do your hours, trying to make your money and then scam you and rob you. Is that how you feel? So tell us how you feel, Dee. Tell us how you feel about the overall thing. I mean, I just feel bad. I mean, I thought this was somebody that I could really do business with and I thought she was, you know, somebody that would be, you know, I don't know you can't trust people because I don't want to use that word like you could trust because I don't trust nobody but you know, that I could be able to work with. And I just feel like, I feel bad. I'm gonna, she's a, I, she, I just feel like she's an evil person. I feel like this woman was out to get me anyway when we first talked and, and I, we was talking about something else, you know, with, you know, other money and stuff like that. And I feel like she was then plotting to set me up. I feel like she was. And then oh, when it came to my, why, why did you feel like that and, and weren't apprehensive and say this don't feel good? Like, why did you feel that way? Because it seemed like, you know, after when I sent her the dragons, it seemed like she kind of started acting kind of funny a little bit. You know, I don't know. It just seemed like, you know, after, and like I said, I think she sent me um, a fake WhatsApp number. That's what, because it seemed like she, wasn't on that number or she only i think i don't know i just think i was set up i think i was just set up and i just want to tell you even the way that i'm telling you even by the way that they came in my room and i have a character witness here today even as well that, that i come from another app and like i even told you and on that app you have to trust people because you send money back and forth to people on that app and so this person can even tell you even on that app she's never got not one bad diamond from me ever mm -mm -mm. look even there's go somebody else right there mama sugar is on the other app with me too and she can tell you they know me on there i'm well known on that app because as you see i invest in myself i spend i, I don't know why i just something i'd like to do i spend money on apps and mama sugar can tell you i spend money all right we'll bring up the character witness we're going to bring up the witness that is going to speak on her character and her financial transactions okay um can you go ahead and say me what was the name of the Wait, first one? The Miss One. Where you at, Miss One? Miss One, just say me. I'm just going to pull you up from the comments. Just say me, please. The bank says, yes, PP loans was deposited for her to withdraw. Your PP loans were deposited for you to withdraw, so you know. That's what the bank is saying, D. Mm -hmm. Okay. Profit is on the top of so many boards. I'm sure there was a better way to, to clear this up. Well, Courtry. Um, she sent her a letter after Bigo told her that it wasn't her fault and she hadn't received anything. Do you feel as though it's a better way to clear something up? We can definitely hear from you. No, and I tried and she never responded to any of them. How can you clear something up with somebody that's not responding to you? How can you absolutely clear something up with someone that's not responding to you? All right, I'm gonna bring Coach Poetry up. We'll take your um, we'll take your your thought, Poetry. Go ahead and say me in the comments so I can pull you up. All right, she been on her honeymoon, so she hasn't been. Mm -hmm. Was she on a honeymoon when you sent this um, when you did this transaction? <clears throat> yeah. She told, she told me nothing about a honeymoon. How you doing, she Empress Paris? The, the, the honeymoon didn't stop her from Judge. getting no dragons. I, you know, I was in her family for a while. I, I was a super stink, uh, and and I can and I've known her since she's been on the app. Uh, we we became hosts at the same time, and I can say that that she's never had this issue. 
She's never had this issue. Who, who you're saying you have a character witness? I'd be interested in knowing who who that person is to say that she, that they've been scammed by her and didn't receive their beans when she's on the top of so many boards. All right, now we okay, have. So some... I think you misunderstood. What, okay, I think well, you misunderstood what. I well, said. I mean, I mean, I. I wait, wait. Maybe hold I on. did. This is not for her. Hold on. The character witness is for me, sir. It's a right. character witness. What? I don't think okay. you know what a character witness is. I, I know what a character witness is, and you don't have to give me too much, honey, because I'm being respectful with you. Hold on. I'm right. going to have to mute you guys. I'm going to bring right. you to tomorrow. You okay, so hold on then, Coltry. So um, we'll let you, uh, we're going to bring Freedom up. And Freedom said she did. She do know of her doing stuff like this. So Freedom, will you come up? Are you willing to come up, Freedom? Freedom is here. Freedom, okay, first off, do you saw me sort of tell the truth, nothing but truth, so help you God? Yes. Okay, hi. Will you give us your um, count on um, who this individual is and what has this, she done? This same family came um, of this young, this lady, she's an older lady by the name of uh, Queen. They, she, uh, they had this one lady that was in their family that was in the hospital all the time. And this lady was going around and she, she was going around, going around, acting like she was so sick. Come to find out she was in their family. And they Queen had went down to their room. Queen gifted everybody. I'm talking about put their numbers up really high within a nick of time. So Queen, we asked them to go, you know, can they give Queen her money? They, you know, the gift backs and what have you. They all stormed through my room. Uh, oh, we ain't this, we ain't that. Her father was in their family before. We ain't doing this. And then they was like, we're going to give the stuff back like that following Friday. But however, they got it. They wanted to start this big old drag war, this big old fight. And they never gave her stuff back. So this family is known for doing that. Anything per se on the founder? Yes, she came into my room uh, with this big talk. Uh, I want to know who the lady that was talking to, which I think the lady name was Martina. Her, yeah, the lady name was Martina. I said, I'm the one that was talking to her because I was. So she was, um, she the main one that said, we ain't giving y'all nothing back. So they known for going around taking things for people, but that ain't the only found on this app to do that. Thank you very much, Freedom. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, so Coltry, in this order, you become a host, you meet a founder, you tell this founder, I'm going to come to your family and I'm going to invest in you. All right, brand new host. October is your first month. You go to the family. You put $499 on the app on the 23rd. You send that money out in two dragons on the 24th. And by the 27th, that founder sends you a letter saying she received abnormal beans from you. Tell me, how would you feel? Now, this I mean, is the 21st you recharge, the 21st you sent the money, by the 26th or the 27th, you receive an abnormal bean message from the founder. Four days tops. Tell me how you would feel. And with you being a seasoned, and, th and with this founder being a seasoned host on the app, how would you feel? I would investigate to see what happened first, because okay. that's, okay. that's what I would do. That would be right. my step on. one. Hold on, beautiful, handsome. Would you take the photo from the um, founder? Would you take your photo, your bank stuff that you sent your cash out, and will you write Beagle with all that proof? Yes, but but also at the same time, you can recharge from from multiple accounts, true or not. Okay, that's true. But when you write Bigo with the proof, and Bigo writes you back and say, "Listen, Coltry, nothing came from your account at all. Your beans mm -hmm. are good." Please let the people know that you sent this money to that this account beans are good. They put the big O ID where the money came from off the account. Once you present that to the person that say you have a normal beans, they send you. How would you feel? Uh, 
Why would you fill it in when you send that message and then it goes unanswered? Um, I, I would probably have to wait a little longer because this this just happened. This is real recent. She's still on her honeymoon. We talk every day, if not every other day. Has she not responded to you at all? I love it, handsome. Take the personal out because you're keeping this as a friendship. No, nope. now we're talking about ethics and we're talking about facts and receipts. I want to talk to you as an individual. If you gave somebody with the big old knowledge you have right now, if you mm -hmm. gave two dragons on the 23rd and by the 26th, I told you that your beans were abnormal, what would you tell me? If, and I and I knew for a fact they weren't abnormal. Because remember, we can't get an abnormal bean. We can't get an abnormal bean. Um, that fast. Fast. It takes almost a month. You can. Okay. Well, well, I'm I'm learning this in real time, so oh. I'm I'm processing it as as we speak. Okay. I've I've, so I've only had one case where I received bad beans. That was months ago. It was paid back. So. Okay. So I don't know what the time frame is because I've never disputed anything and the people right. who I do business with don't do that either. But with you learning this, she did, she, she recharged her account on the 23rd. By the 26th, she got an abnormal being message from her founder. What do you think? What did that make you think? I would ask her what her knowledge is of bad things. I would want to have a conversation with her. And what I'm hearing is that they haven't had a conversation. You haven't been able oh. to reach her. Um, oh. and, 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 and she's reasonable in that aspect. And that's really all I came to say. I've never had an issue with her like that. If, if, if this is really happening to you deep, I'm, I'm sorry. I've never had an issue with her like that. But I do know that right now she's, she's on her honeymoon and she has not been reached. So what, if this is really happening, am I in a dream? Am I? Is this somebody about to come knock me in my head and wake me up? This is really happening. <laughs> this is really happening. You've seen the receipts? I mean, maybe like you said, you just got here. I understand you wanted to come up and defend, but sometimes it's better to listen and get the whole story before you can get mm -hmm. on. Well, I was, I was invited up. I, just, I made a few comments. Right, I made right, a few comments, right, I and I was invited up. I understand. Like, I know, I know Empress. I love Empress. I know Prophet. I love Prophet. Yeah, and she, she hasn't shown up. She I hasn't shown up for me that way. And I have not seen her show up for anybody else that way where she's tried to scam someone. So yeah. I, uh, I, I'm going to, I'm going to hop down because your, your jury you know, wants me to hop down. I know, I know her as well. I'm only going by the receipts. That's it. Gotcha. I'm not making it personal. You have to, the, what, yo, and if you're sending me a a straight from people. You can put came from help at feedback. Like this is a whole from you look on everybody's pages. Her page sent them this week. If you look on her page, it said so we're just going by the fact. Does it yeah to give anyone anything back? Yeah. I hope you work it out deep. Appreciate it. Uh, have a great night, Paris. Thank you, country, my love. So just to be fair, you guys, I'm not um I'm not gonna blame anybody. Yeah, my comments are lit. They're they're amazing because they're all jurors and they're and they know they watch. I'm not gonna blame um anybody. I'm just gonna let the facts speak. I know um, Prophet from the app, and I just met this young lady. Her facts are speaking for themselves. It's the one on her board, right? So we'll bring up another agency because she's hot and spicy in the comments. She's a sister of mine. I get a lot of advice from her. We spend a lot of time talking, and she's extremely knowledgeable about that. Yeah, and she's going to always be a, a troll app. tonight. Hello, troll. I was definitely trying to troll tonight, but I ended up getting caught up in the conversation. What I'm saying, though, is deep, even though I don't know you and I don't know Profit, I do know a little, just a little about this app. And I can understand that if they're saying it's 22,000, right? That's how much they said in illegal beans. And you've only sent her under 20,000. 
I don't think the math adds up, but I'm going to just show a little something that I found. You know, I don't know if it's true or not. I'm going to just show a little something, y'all. Don't blame me. I'm, so, background most thing. of y'all know. I'll talk to you guys about it. Right. Most of you guys know that on the monthly board, if you don't give someone in 30 days or 31 days or whatever, you disappear off their board, right? But what people can't make disappear is the motherfucking fan lottery. So if you go to Profit's board, and my nails ain't done, but if you go to Profit's board and you go to her overall, not her monthly, you got to go to fan lottery for her fan group, then go to overall, you'll see Miss Deep right here is under the amount she's claiming. But if you look at the next two people, Look at who comes in around that 22,000 something, something, something. I'm and not saying it's them. I'm just saying that's what it looked like. But I'm going to get down. So what she's saying is, let me switch. This girl came in under 20K. But there was someone else on that gifting list that came in close to 22K. Not saying that that's the person that gave her bad beans. But... If you receive bad beans in that amount, but, and it's a monthly overall, the, those beans weren't sent within a week. It's an overall. That means that's been sent monthly. It's an overall, but we're not saying. Thank you so much, Para. Change your name if you want to troll. You can be anything in the court system you want to be other than Para if you want to troll. That's why everyone trolls. Their name is different. So, again, uh, I ain't saying that. Okay, the detective said, I ain't saying nothing. Okay, detective. I'm going to come. Okay, next time. Perfect for her. All right. So, who in the comments got something to say? Family Dollars, you got something to say? The bank? Who got something to say? The deep lawyer, yeah. my client, dragons today, period. Um, Department of Corrections. What did you, what you got? No shower, no snack. Ooh. So you saying you arresting somebody and they ain't going to be able to shower or get no snacks, Department of Corrections. Is that what you're saying? All these roaches. Ain't no roaches in the courtroom. You lying. Pumpkin juror number seven. What you got to say? She say she is guilty. Ooh, not that she already trying to put a verdict. Oh, they're saying she booked. Tanel saying she's guilty. We just sprayed for that. Exactly. So roaches, you are no, there's no roaches in our courtroom. Nosy Norris, what are you talking about? Objection, man. Another objection overruled objection you've been overruled all night you see it's facts you just had an agency come up here named para she brought more facts in get out oh objection okay we're gonna overrule you every time because we got facts on facts thank you box one wall juicy strawberry it's the what juicy strawberry but wait five hundred dollars for two drags is a scam anyway no well, I, no i didn't no it wasn't Mm -hmm. I had, the, I had, yeah. And they, and, okay. and listen, and even if I sent, if those beans were bad, just picture this. Wouldn't the other people that I sent the other diamonds to would have came to me and told me that they had bad beans as well? Not, yeah, next month, but not this month. But you did have bad beans. It came from a cash app. So, but what Para, the Para does do business with diamond resale, resale, and we're going to leave it at that. Okay? So, yeah she got worked well it's not we, we don't want to say she got worked it's just a shame that somebody is lying here it's just a shame that people come on here the court reporter said deep paid for some of what that honeymoon oh they say deep paid for some of the honeymoon lord don't start those rumors don't start those rumors don't start those rumors there you go <laughs> Bells and bonds say right, somebody my ain't nobody bonding out of jail. We do not need a bells and bonds LLC. Ain't nobody calling you. The 499, I was only used for the dragon. See, the 499 said the 499 dollar said he was only used for the dragons. If the glove fits, you must convict. We didn't wear gloves. She, did you have any gloves on when you were sending out the dragon? No, I didn't. Did you put any gloves on when you were purchasing the dragons? No, I didn't. Did you put on any gloves to drive to the Family Dollar? No, I didn't. The lady at the Family Dollar that took your money and rung it up, did she have on any gloves? To be honest with you, I can't remember because it is COVID. And, you know, sometimes that, you know, these convenience stores, they do wear gloves. But I can't say if she did or she didn't. I don't, you know, I can't re regulate. Do 
who own a white Bronco? No. Did you put anyone on a high speed chase on your way to Family Dollar? No. Did you have sexual relationships with that woman? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. No. So lies detected. Is there any no. lies? <laughs> what? No. Is there any lies detected? Any? Mm. Lies detected? None? Mm -mm. All right. This girl ain't got no lies detected. So basically, um, Deep came here with her dispute. She felt as though it was worthy slightly more than what the court deems to be what it was worth. And that's why she's here in claims court. I accidentally put small claims court on her um, dispute and the comments ripped me one. So I can no longer say small claims court because $500 is a lot of money. So please court forgive me for disrespecting, okay? I was just trying to be technical because small claims court in the law of courts is less than $5,000. That's the only reason I use for small claim courts, but this is Bego court and that is big money. That is big serious money. This lady is a woman that works. She wanted to come on this app for business. She has kids and she did what she was supposed to do. She became a host. She found a family. She talked to someone had a conversation. They said, okay, this is what it's going to be. Throw on me and I will in turn throw on you. Allegedly, that's the conversation that was had. And what we did see was the facts still remains. Um, the dragons are on Prophet Aaron's page. There are only less than a thousand beans on Deep's page. Um, the secondary account did send out a lot of gifts. We also see that the um, cash app it, it was recharged $499 on the 23rd. And we also see that there was a message that was sent from her founder. <clears throat> that was a message that was sent from her founder within days, within days of the transaction saying that she received illegal beans. Those illegal beans, there's no way in heaven, hell, or high water that they came from deep. We go can't process them that fast. Bigo cannot process that that fast. Found the prophet is in the building, everyone. Found the prophet is in the building. If she wants to come up, I just, all she has to say is bring me up and I'm going to bring founder prophet up. I'm going to bring founder prophet up. And that's on that. One second, let me open up this thing here. So basically today, what date was this? Look in your... um. WhatsApp and see when was the day you received that um the message from her saying dear Bigo broadcaster what day was that now because it should show a day instead of a time um, they bring her up not yet no 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 and no I received that I, on October October twenty sixth so listen guys. So listen, so October 23rd, she recharged. October 24th, she sent the dragons. And October 26th, she received the abnormal text from her founder. That is impossible. That can't happen like that. That cannot. No, it's not, it's not long. You want to come up? It'll be over in a second. Right, cause I gotta go to I, I gotta go to work anyway. So I mean, she'd want to come at the last minute. Or okay, I'm okay. Well, I just got married. I'm actually living my best life. I don't do the big old life thing. So yes, I do have less time. So I'm here. I just got a call about this. So yeah, that's right. My best life. <laughs> I know I'm hated on this side of town, but what's what's popping? What what well, I'm I needed a, for? I have a question, Prophet. Uh -huh. Are you aware how long it takes for Bigo to process an abnormal um bean um request or anything like that? Say for instance, someone sends you some beans. Do you know how I long? I have no idea because I mean I'm answering the question for you get to no. I have no idea because again I ain't even been on this app for a whole year yet. I don't know nothing. All I know is when I got it, I sent it out to a friend like, "What the fuck is this?" And that was just that on that. And so I, I went to her 
And like I told her, she wasn't the only one in question. I questioned everybody. Did I not say that to you? I came to your panel when I saw you live, which was my first time ever seeing you live. But at first you did, but then after I sent you the message that Bingo said, none of my I was were not bad, on I had no again. refunds or anything. I mean, when you're in Jamaica and you're living your best life, you know, on a seven day boat cruise, you know, who gets on Bingo on WhatsApp? Not profit, unfortunately. Well, so no, well, I did not check on, anything. But, but hold but on. Can I, right? But can I say something though? But if you were going on a, wouldn't you tell, wouldn't you to say, hey, even though we're doing Yes, I'm here now because you know. I'm, it's a key to me. Like I said, has she so messaged can I get me my dragons? and I would have got to it, so which can I, I get would my dragons? Have. So can, so can I get my dragons? So can I get my dragons? So can I get my dragons? Can I get my dragons? That was it. That was all. So can I get my dragons? Scammer, get the fuck out of here. So can I get? Okay, we're not worried about them. We're no, not, not worried not about Peter. Can I get? Can I get? Can I get my dragons? Can I check the message? So can I get my dragons? Been resolved, but if I don't know where the fuck the shit came from. You motherfucking right. I'm gonna do an investigation. Uh, period. Uh, profit. I can promise you, if she sent you 1998, there's no way she can see you. Your the abnormal means of 22678 came from her. She only sent you 1998. Vigo said you had 22678. Okay, I don't mean that it couldn't have been multiple people. Well, and but and not only that, she just sent it to you on the 24th. You, there's no way these beans on the 26th belong to her. You sent her this message on the 26th of October. She sent you the dragons on the 24th. Those don't belong to her. It takes almost 30 days for B, B go to pro. If she disputes something, it's going to take a whole 30 day cycle. Okay, well, that's one thing. I don't know nothing about that. I went to her and I asked her because that's the reason why she even sent the message out to Bigo because she had just sent the dragons and then I got the message. So how the fuck does that make me a scammer? So anybody, see, that's the thing. Y'all commenters, I don't give a fuck about y'all. That's one just, thing y'all got, y'all fail to realize. I ain't one of these Rudy Poo ass bitches well, that's scared of shit on here. Y'all living this Vigo ass life. I'm living a real so fabulous life in real life. With that being okay, said, so, so I will message you and I will talk to you outside of this. Cause baby, look, this ain't no motherfucking courtroom. I ain't being summoned to no real shit. Hey, message me and I will send you a motherfucking cash app. Fuck this Bigo shit. And that's that on fucking that I don't live off Bigo. You understand me? You can message me. I'm on a cruise. I think you know I just got married. So with that being said, no, I even said I wasn't gonna be that. on Bigo. I sent you a you message of your you opponent and it didn't no, go through and have an exclamation message. point, which I can show oh. and prove that. Oh, okay. But after that, again, I Pop am chilling. Show us. She said she didn't receive no opponent or none of that. This is recorded. We'll send it. Don't nobody give a fuck. <laughs> Look, call it what comments, you motherfucker so wants to. Send me that receipt of you sending but so, her. So, so, so you, okay, so can we hear? I will contact you off Vigo, like I said, because this is not my life, honey. I don't got, I don't do all this. Be this ain't real court, honey. I mean, I ain't been summoned and shit to my motherfucking address. I ain't got shit. So again, well, I will message you off Bigo. I will take care of it off Bigo. And then that's when you can send them a receipt and say, yes, she took care of me. With that being said, I'm chilling with my husband and my family. And I'm going to get the fuck up out of here. Thank you for the person that called me and let me know that I was over here being talked about without my motherfucking knowledge. But yeah, no, I'm going to no. message you off Bigo. Uh, uh, send me your cash uh, app. Uh, uh, I, I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. Uh, send me your cash app, uh, Miss D, because I'm not I'm not doing no bigo shit. You hear me? That's all I got to share, and that's that on that. Okay. Guilty my ass. If I got illegal beans, I don't know when the hell the time frame is. I'm not no fucking bigo expert. I don't pay my rent off no motherfucking bigo. Period. I did call you the old day, sis. No, I'm saying you called me. Yes, but I'm saying I just got a call just now just now and i was actually shaving my pussy when i got the motherfucking call so with that being said hey it is what the fuck it is now not mad sweetheart trust me any motherfucking body that know me on this bitch in real life no profit ain't mad about a motherfucking thing i could pay all you motherfuckers rent while y'all in the comments ain't doing shit ain't getting shit you hear me hey him and jeffy hey baby well, well, These motherfuckers well, got me well, fucked up well, on this well, big well, old shit. Gonna let you, but go I'm ahead and send me a message. Know, I, I mean, I see you I'm, up here in court, boo, with your West Side ponytail. I see you, baby. 
send me your cash up on WhatsApp and everything. I'm going to get back to you, boo. With that being said, I'm about this what? motherfucker. All right, now, what's your cash app? Is, is my cash app is deep lugubrious. Just add the cat add the add the add the add the add the, add the, add the money sign. That is right there. Deep lugubrious is my, is my cash app. Text it to her now so we can see. Text it to her right now so we know that it went through. And we're gonna have a follow-up on the case. Let me tell something, y'all something. Let me tell y'all something about this app. It don't take a person a year to learn a lot. We know it's a lot of people in the comments that are not hosts that know so much about this app. We know so much. And if you just do simple math, 1998 is not equivalent to 22,678 amount of bad beans. It's just not. It's just not. And then once you wrote Bigo and she received that letter and you show her the response from Bigo, it should have been taken care of then. But one thing I can say, I've been on a lot of cruises as well, and she got some good ass Wi-Fi. She got some good cruise Wi-Fi. If that Wi-Fi that good and strong and nice and clear, we could have sent some dragons out. We, I mean, that's some good ass Wi-Fi. Because I spoke with her today, and it was so crystal clear. It was beautiful. Can we see the receipt that you sent that? Oh, you sent on another oh. page. Okay. Screenshot and send it to me. I need to know that receipt went through. And I spoke with her today, so she know. I don't know if Portra or whoever called her, but I can tell you this. Out of respect, I called her myself. And whenever my courts is jumping and juking, don't nobody need a phone call. People are on my window. You can check the window right now. You can check the window right now, baby. The window be juking, honey. So ain't no, it wasn't no phone call needed. It wasn't no phone call needed, honey, period. Um, phone calls are not needed in this court. The window be juking. Mm-hmm, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know what she's saying, but Wi-Fi is good. That Wi-Fi so crystal clear, honey, period. And this this is this lady's money. And my thing is, it's Bigo shit. And this Bigo life, and I'm living my real life. We put real mm. money on this app. And, the and real and life that. money put on this app went to your account. That was real life money. That real life money that she put on this app went to your account. That was real money, honey. Not no monopoly money. Not no pr price is right game money, you know, when you spend the wheel. Not none of that hokey Pinocchio Joe money. This was real life money from her real life to yours. And, and one thing about it, when money out, you're able to pull that bigo money off and use it in your real life. No matter what, it all comes right on back to real life. And you ain't been summoned to court, girl, this is girl real money. Like this is ladies real money. Real life uh, wedding fees, period. So I don't know what people get off of saying that and trying. Don't down my form. My form be popping. Don't down my form. If it wasn't for my form, we couldn't bring awareness to a lot of people that be screwing people over. My form bring awareness to all you, all you thieves that be taking folks' money and running off with it, then start huffing and puffing when you got caught up. And I'm gonna be, I'm a, I'm just gonna be numb, but I'm gonna be biased for a second. One thing about that lady right there, that prophet, prophet is a hustler, hustler. Ever since I know her, she knows how to get it. Prophet, I am not gonna say you did not know that, that it takes about 30 days for that information to come back. You are aware of what's going on in, on this app. This was a brand new host. This girl is greener than a green crayon. She ain't even been no host for no month. It's given you trying to take advantage of a new host. That's what it's given. Miss Owner Cruz with the best Wi-Fi in the world. It's given that you trying to take advantage of a sweet, nice, kind host. That you felt this dope ain't gonna come and find her way and find what's really popping. 
But what happened just so happened, this girl done rolled up in my room before. And she know if I come and talk to Empress, maybe we can get some awareness because that's what she wanted. She said, I want people to know that she's still in front folk and she robbed me. That's what this girl said. I said, well, I'll go ahead and do that. Before I even knew it was profit, I had done took the case, right? I said, oh, I took the case before I knew it was profit. I said, I know profit. I said, but I promise you I'll take the case. I'm going to go ahead and take it. If she would have told me it was profit's name first, I probably wouldn't have took it. But she had already, I told her I'll take it because I felt her conviction. This lady brand new on the app, brand spanking new. Hey, Queen Abigo, why one week into her host and she done got robbed? And she was trying to do the right things. She went and she said, I don't want to be going my bank. I'm going to go to um, Family Dollar so I can keep track. Not only that, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to talk to this girl. I like her vibe. I like her energy. I'm going to become a host. She told me I could come to her family. All right, once I'm in the family, I want to do business. Everything she said she was going to do, she did it. Please vote for me, y'all, right now for the Gala 2021. Please, I'll continue to bring you guys great content, honest, true, 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 true real life stories. And then as soon as this girl do business, that girl said, you start acting stank with her. Is that what you said, D? As soon as you gave her them dragons, her attitude changed. Her attitude changed. And then that next night, she and her entourage busted in my live. What? Cash App say, stop using them to get scammed. We so sorry, Cash App. She up the $499 said she showed a stank attitude. And you just knew then something went right. That girl knew immediately. This girl knew within, it ain't even been a week yet. This girl say something ain't right. I'm going to find Miss Empress. That girl say something ain't right. Yep. And the then everybody, and let me say, and everybody keeps saying why I have the badge still. And it's only because I want people to know this is the family that came into my room scammed me sent me a fake email and i don't know who was in on it who wasn't but they all rushed in my room told me that i gave bad beans all this and they you know it made it seem like i did something wrong so i want people to know this is the family that did this to me and once i'm done with this yes the badge will be dropped as soon as i'm done with this case yes and i sent you the um message of you know but i sent her with my cash app and even before that remember i told you i was on the phone with you and she sent me a message that's on there as yep. well. And she told me she was going to return my dragons, even in that message. And, and she called her back because she didn't know the young lady had contacted me. She didn't know. See, one thing about it, they ain't scared of me. The people that do wrong are not scared of me. They scared of 1,000, 100, 200 of y'all seeing a story about them. They can give a care about me. It's the viewers that they're afraid of. They're afraid of you guys. That's what they're afraid of. That's exactly what they're afraid of. I'm sorry. Um, anybody want to come up and ask her any questions before we make a verdict? You have to say me and then I'll grab you up. No cursing. Just ask her one question. Ask her one question. She's only been a host for a month. She put her money on the 23rd. She sent some of it out. She didn't get it back. Okay, me. No bad beans. Say me. Okay, everybody saying me. All right, hold on. No cursing. Just a question. Go ahead. Was it my beans that she used? It wasn't your beans, no bad beans. Not this time. It okay. was not. She All had right. purchased a dollar and she used her own. Not yours this time, baby. Okay, because I got the good beans now. Okay. Okay. We, we know. We know. Thank you, no bad beans. Okay, I just sent the invitation to and soft body card. And, and of course she would drop and she would take the bed herself. Of course. She she I've been sitting here the whole time with it on there. And that's why I did that. So people know the family that that will do you wrong, that will scam you and then rob you. Okay. I, I wanted to say something because I, I I used to be on her family or whatever. I had got in the family, but I don't be with the drama stuff. So I got in the family and some stuff popped off or whatever. So I said that I was going to drop the badge. So when I dropped the badge, no more than probably 10 minutes after I got it, she, her and her family flew in my room and was, bitch, you owe her this because you um left the family um something about some 5,000 um, comeback points got taken and all this. 
if you don't send me if you send me a dragon then we'll stop coming in here because we'll troll you um for a long time I'm like i'm not with the drama so i had to block the whole family and i sent wow. them again so, so they come in a wow yeah so i dropped so i told my friend to come in and i told her because my friend owed me um some dragons so i told my friend to come in i said come in and drop that dragon on her her and her family <laughs> just kept coming into the kept coming into my life trolling me like we're gonna troll you till you get my founder her stuff you um uh, by you leaving a family it took like five thousand combat points and all this i'm like what do you mean i don't have plenty of families when they never came to me and said anything like that but i'm not with the drama shit so I threw her the dragon. So they bullied you out of a dragon? Out of a dragon. For something that ain't even true. That's what happened. And I blocked the whole family. Whew. Yep. That's what happened. So I know it's true. What she did is true. So, right the purge. But yeah, I had to come up here and say that because that's what happened. Um, so what? So, Courtney, do you believe this story, Courtney? Or no? No. Thank you, pineapple. I love you. And thank y'all for the gifts. I appreciate it. Cause I don't be with the and drama, so I, so I threw the dragon. Wow. And I sent her my cash app, y'all. She has still yet to send me anything. She has still yet to send me anything. We can that get Wi-Fi work over with. Order for you to come on Beagle and be able to get up in the box. That Wi-Fi is impeccable. But yeah, that's what I have to um and then, and then she can and then oh. she can drop me then and then she can give me my money and then I can figure out what I'm gonna do from here. That's Love you, it. Mama. Thank you. Sorry. I don't know, but I was there. Hold on. I don't know, but I was there that night. Somebody stormed into Deke's room and accused her of anything. Nobody. Oh, so you saying nobody in storming her room and accused her? So why would she get the message in, culture? She got a message that she got abnormal beings. The message was sent to her because I have it. It was sent to her saying she, yeah. Yes, it was sent to her. Was he in your room that night when it happened? Who? Who was it? I'm sorry, I didn't see who it was. I must have missed that comment. She admitted that she said somebody did. Yes. She went to her. Yes. Why her? is he still trying to cheat? Did he didn't hear her come up here and talk? Did she when when she came up here and talked? She said, "Yeah, I accused you." She said, "But I not you." She said, "I told you it was somebody." I'm questioning everybody. You didn't hear so her that say mean that. I was in the accusation. So I wanted to clear my name. I was in the accusation. Right. She said she did it. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, I'll be trying too hard. It's just a fact. Much. Thank you. Yeah, don't go hard like that, culture, because some these people just sometimes it's good to just watch. Just watch and see what happens and what unfolds. I can tell you right now, if the facts ain't solid, I don't even bring the case to the forefront. Y'all know. Come on now. Let's be fair. Somebody told me to tell you she ain't getting her money back for them dragons. These are the premium comments saying you ain't getting your money back for these dragons. Um, also, I got oh, I got a proof from Deep showing me that she did send out um her beagle. Uh, she did send out her money to um Cousin, I can't dispute the charge. I use Cash App. But you don't want to dispute the charge anyway because it'll mess up your account. Yeah, and I don't want to mess up that account because that's my gifter page. Yeah, you don't want to mess up the account. But she did send her her, her um what you call this thing, her Cash App. And also there's a message from her, the um, prophet saying she'll send back what was sent. But while she was up here, she did not send the dragons. So now we're just waiting on the cash app to come. So I don't know how that's going to play out. Anybody else have another question? Let me bring up. Um, 
Soft Carter. Intentional. Hi, Soft Carter. Hey, it had kicked me out the first time, but hey, listen, okay, so I don't got a question, but like, okay, I'm let me just say this. She lied. Um, Prophet lied because I've been a host for a little bit over a year. Before I became a host, I used to like chill with her, sit on panels with her. So she lied. So mm -hmm. she has been on here for more than a year. And her courtry is really, really close. So he's going to be biased to her because they're really close. But even still, it just kind of confused me how she came up here and had everything to say and then said, well, send me your cash app. You could have just threw the girl to dragons right there. Yeah. Like, it wasn't even no point of saying, send me your cash app. Just throw the dragons right now. But, yeah, that's all I had to say. Right. Thank you, Carter. I agree. I, I would have took them right now. I thought I was going to see a dragon hit screen. Intentional, you got something to say, baby? Intentional? Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! oh. Whoa! <laughs> oh. 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 Girl, you scare her. You got to learn how to control yourself. You're going to scare her and get all of us banned. Just calm down. <sighs> Damn. Everybody that's in here, Cockroach, Juicy, Felicia, Yo Mama, everybody get ready. I'm going to bring one of y'all up. Cockroach, I'm going to bring you up. Please be focused, okay, Cockroach? Hi, Cockroach. No, it wasn't only one key. You oh, oh why y'all got to come back with the name? Let it go. It wasn't. Her name was unfortunate. <laughs> y'all just bringing light to it. No, it wasn't. Thank you, deep cousin. Felicia, chit went fit and fines. Y'all be mindful. I'm going to bring y'all up. Water, flood, Aletha Mill, Lady T, Don Owens. All y'all, please, if y'all got a question, be, be ready. Be focused and ready, Felicia Mallet. Felicia, you up? Uh-huh, you ain't even ready. Y'all hear me calling y'all name. I'll drop you. I'll drop you, Felicia. Relax. Okay, she gone. All right, I'm going to get everybody out the queue. A lot of y'all ain't ready. I don't want to scare y'all. All right, so that means anybody that comes in here now wants to come up. Okay? All right, No Bad Beans is back. I just want to let you know it's unfortunate that it happened, but it was not my beans. I did not I did not get you the bad beans, and I'm glad they didn't use my beans. And I hope you get your good beans back. I really do, because that's wrong. That's just wrong. And she tried to deflect on the episode. That was just wrong. She should have just sent you the cash that for your dragon then. But we need a question, princess. Love you. Got to be a question. Okay. All right. Love you, bad beans. Don't sit out. No, no, only good beans. Okay. All right. Anybody with a question? Uh, where are they? All right. So, um, we are hoping that the cash shop come on through from profit. It'd be nice if it could come through now. But other than that, we will definitely go ahead and um, put out a verdict. Um, from the Beagle District Municipal Court, Empress Paris, your honorable judge, um, the jury, what do you guys deem Prophet to be? Is she innocent, like not guilty, or is she guilty? Ooh, guilty, guilty. Oh, uh, she's a sc scammer. Would scammer be guilty? Guilty judge? Guilty? All right. We got a lot of guilty verdicts. Okay. All right. Anyone else? Oh, guilty. Okay. Guilty as charged. Guilty. All right. Guilty. Oh, guilty. I won my case. The dragon said they won the case. She's a guilty scammer. She disrespected the court. So, yes, yeah, she did disrespect the court. 
guilty, guilty, guilty. See, the thing about it, people get mad at me. I just get the court cases. This is my content. I like to help people that can't help themselves. And she didn't feel as though she's going to get her dragons back, but she wanted to put awareness. Tell them why you want to do this deep. I mean, just to just to bring awareness to like, I guess, just be more mindful. And I know I should have been more mindful as well, being a new host, especially think that somebody has been on a long Did she get low? Did she get low? Go in and out. Did she get low? We can't hear you. Repeat that. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, you can hear me now. Okay, I was just bringing awareness, and hopefully, I do. And hopefully, like honestly, she do cash at me my money. I hope she do. But to me, to be able to do something like that to somebody, I mean, maybe she did get the email, maybe she didn't. But I think it was a scam. I think she sent me a fake email and tried to scam me out of my two dragons. And people need to be aware of like people that are evil like that because there are people like that and i didn't think she was one of them but she is because first like i say i mean and i even thought that too and that's why i went as hard as i did because you're not going to say i got bad beans three days later thank you i appreciate it thank you thank you No, I don't. And I mean, it just like seems like that's why do you that's why my name is Lugubrious. Y'all know Lugubrious is the deepest, darkest form of depression you could ever be in. I am deep lugubrious because people always want to use me, abuse me, take advantage of me. Maybe they think I have, maybe because I'm always so willing, you know, and then stuff like that. But that's all it is. That's why I am deep lugubrious. Because people like to do things like that. And we, like you say, with the name like Prophet, but all I see it is she's trying to get profit off of people, not the actual profit, but profit off of people. That's what she's trying to get. Yes, the Gubius is the deepest, darkest depression you could be in. And that's because people always want to just take, yes, yeah, she is the devil. She is. And that's all I got to say about that, because like I say, I don't know how far this will go. And I, like I say, I do have, you know, I'm not going to be on the app cussing anybody out, calling anybody out their name or anything like this. And like, and you know, who knows who will see this because my outside life, I don't even deal with people like that. So I'll just end it right there and I'll say I was scammed and I was robbed for for my money. And she made it seem like she was going to give me a PK so that I can get my rebates and then I can, you know, meet my quota and things like that. But that's it. And I appreciate Empress for taking my case and bringing awareness to those on the app that don't need to be adding people to their families, especially new hosts, so that they can get taken advantage of and their money stolen from them. Because it's not fair for you to drop on somebody and then the family come in on you, bum rushing you and attacking you, making them feel like you're the bad person or you did something wrong. When they, Even in your mind, even in your mind when you know you did nothing wrong, but people are coming at you, attacking you, you open their panel, they're saying, oh, well, and then they go insinuate because, you know, they know they scam you, but we're not saying this. We sent the email out to everyone. <laughs> oh, okay. But let me send you this that I know I didn't send out anything because that's not even my character. I wouldn't even do that to anybody. But that's it. That's like I say, like I say, because like, that's it. No, she didn't care. All right. So y'all heard it there. So do y'all support D? If so, she is a new host. Can everyone please season her purse? I'm going to gift her this lady lost $499, basically. Can y'all go ahead and just season her purse a little bit? I'm going to season her purse. Thank I appreciate you, you guys. Thank Unless you, and I help. appreciate y'all. She having, what is she, is she going to even hit 40K this? Oh, my God. She ain't going to even and see, hit 40K. And, what, and see, what was supposed to happen was I was going to throw the two dragons and see I had a little bit left oh. over in my bag, and then I was going to flip that, and then, I, you know, how it was going to all even out was I was going to get my 40K. 
All right, but don't don't talk too 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 much. Now, and the, the, just please remember, as a new host, don't be getting your gifts sent or received on a panel. You always have to find a PK babe. Okay, you have to <clears throat> find good alliances. I can say now, I think Pretty TP23, she's the founder of my family. I think she's in here now. I mean, if you really want a solid family with solid alliances, I'm in that family as well. Um, we will welcome you to the ball and out of control family. Okay. We will welcome our family. And that's okay. on that for you. So if you're ready to drop that badge, I know the comments would love for you to go ahead and drop that badge while you're here. We like to see that. So um, if you're ready to drop that badge, go ahead and drop that badge. And then once you drop it, you can go through my name and go ahead and accept our badge. And we'll let pretty TT23 then go in and talk to you and pull it up. She dropped it. Perfect. She took it. Perfect. So go through my name and go ahead and um apply for the badge so basically at balling out of control the founder took the badge so basically how we do it balling out of control um we support um solid hosts that want to support themselves um we help you we talk to you and we make sure if we're throwing money at you it has to be an um official um bigo event okay thank you for mm -hmm. number seven has to be in an official big old event. Thank so did you for the gifts? I appreciate it. I really thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. A little more because I got a gift or two. She got to hit 40K. We got to help her. The month is almost out. We got to give her more gifts. She well, got to hit 40 okay. I start. I'm going I'm to just, I got to just backtrack and I'm going to start again next month because I just, I mean, you know what I mean? I had already kind of, you know what I mean? So I got to see what I can go do now. Hold on, how many hours did you do? Um, actually, because I didn't know this was gonna fall through for me, I got all my hours. Like if tonight when right, I go so to because I'm bragging, y'all, she gonna get a hundred dollars. Is that true? Am I doing that right? Because I read that when they sent it out to us about four mm -hmm. months ago. But I be if we get her to one dragon, that should be at least a hundred dollars. Okay. So let's get her a dragon, y'all. I'm gonna give her some gifts. Let's get her to a dragon. At least that's a hundred dollars. And not only that. She got a conversion. She'll have a little money in her wallet. Okay, don't give up, Dee. Let's go. All right, right. so let's get you some. I'm going to follow you because you might be falling out of control, girl. Not that I just followed you. All right, so I'm going to give you. Okay, uh oh, y'all, she almost to that dragon. If we get her Thank to you. two dragons, she gets $200. So we can get her to one dragon, y'all. All we need is three more shields. Let's go, let's go, y'all. Let's get her to at least a hundred dollars in her pocket, and she's gonna have um like about seventy dollars in her wallet. I'm just throwing out whole numbers, y'all. So let's get her to a dragon. To, to Thank a you, drag. I appreciate it, and I appreciate it so much. And if I appreciate oh, you so oh, much, thank you. Oh, e -hive. How many of my ehive people in here? I got I got to get some new ehive members because y'all be coming through ehive. The ehive be coming through. Yes, thanks. Yay, look at the dragon. Thank so, yeah, you. Yes, I got 45. Let's help that baby get to a dragon. She almost there. She's almost there, y'all. Keep pushing. We are so close. Oh, my God. We are so close. We are so close. We are so close. This is a great case, y'all. Of course, while y'all get... Thank you, and I appreciate it. Keep going, y'all. Keep going. We almost there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Ehive. Let's go. Let's go, e -hive. Let's Thank go. You. Let's go. Beautiful girl. She just got on the app. She just trying to flip, flip some money. She just trying to get another extra strand of income. That's it. That was it. That was That's it right there. And I invested. And I had the money to invest. I had a little bit of money to invest in myself to try to make it work. And I just did it with the wrong person. And we and don't I just have did it with the wrong person. So go ahead and, and help she, you guys. Let's get her to. Let's and she get, still hasn't sent me my okay. no cash yet. And thank no, you, y'all. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We need to get her to a dragon on her window. I want to make sure her window say one dragon. What would you? What did you start off thank with? You. Zero. Did you start off with zero this month on your window on your um profile page? 
Yes, I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, so this was a brand new. This was a brand new page. I had to start. They're trying to say that you at one dragon now, but we don't know. I yeah, I should be because I had like I think like three k already. So you're right. If it's at eight, they're right. Thank you, y'all. Appreciate it. Yay! Thank we you so much. Thank you. Oh wow! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but look, it ain't four hundred and ninety-nine dollars, but it's a check, and you got a little conversion. Okay. Thank you so much, it's and I joined your family, I, and, and I, I, I'm gonna do business. I, I think Pretty TT will accept you. We run hard, and we're honest. We go hard now. Our investments are real, but we're honest. Okay, and you have to at least do three PKs a month. Okay, at least. Or if you hit, if you hit your goal on the first PK, then that's fine too. Thank you, Queen Bayou. I love y'all. We almost there, y'all. Y'all might as well give her a few more maces. Period. You got it. You got it. Thank we did. You. Thank you. I appreciate e it. Thank you so much. E what my e What is my e at? Y'all might as well come. Period. Period. Not y'all ain't stopped. Thank you, y'all. Thank you, y'all. Appreciate y'all so much. Thank you. We Thank did you. that. We did it, pineapple. Yes, we did it. Y'all vote for me in the gala 2021. Keep me in the top three. Y'all ain't been voting for me, and I'm very upset. And I should have to beg for dragons, but I'm gonna come up here in my blue <laughs> oh, and you. I got the whole um presidential election segment for y'all. That's gonna be content. I'm gonna beg for those votes. Don't play with me. You okay, did it. Thank you. And I All appreciate right. it. Yep, so really quickly before we end this case, I, I deserve the votes. Yay. Uh, how do you vote? Y'all teach her how to vote down here. You go. I teach after the court cases. Oh, I'm sure everybody how to vote for me. Also, my website will be open back up, y'all, because I'm going home on the fifth. So if you want beauty, this is a commercial break. Sorry. If you want beautiful skincare products, the products I use on my face, the products I use on my hand, my feet, my whole body, lotions, body butters, shower gels, bubble bath, face wash, face scrub hand lotion foot lotion foot scrub body scrub i have a whole array of beautiful products my instagram is essential bomb and my website is essentialbomb.com i use my products i live by it oh not that i got a jar right here for a commercial break this is my cranberry and lime body scrub oh oh not that it oh it has almond oil and beautiful beautiful salt scrub here, I'm going to dig some of it out for y'all to see how yummy it is. Oh, and you can't eat it. It tastes just, oh, yes. Mm. It smells amazing. Also, I have body butters. This is the strawberry and cream body butter. It's so thick and full of shea butter and smell just like strawberries. Oh, my. I don't have any sprays yet. The company didn't make me any sprays, but I have everything else. Spritzers. It's amazing. The product is freaking amazing. And it takes dead skin off. If you ever seen a nasty bathtub, use some of the soaps I sell. When you get out your bathtub, all that dead skin going to cover your whole tub. If you bathe with a mm. white rag, it takes all the dead skin off Thank your back, you. it's your elbows, your everything. Okay? So she has made what she needs. Yeah, I need that butter, period, pineapple. I'll send it to you, boo. Now, yes. back to the um, matter at hand. So, um, you guys deem profit to be guilty. Y'all know who she is. Y'all have her big ID. Um, I mean, I'm gonna see what she's gonna do. We're gonna wait on it. We'll come, we'll we we will revisit this case um in two days and um we'll just talk about it overall. We'll bring her up and see whether or not she got her um dragons or the money. You know, no cash yet though. I'll be home on the sixth, but if I open the website up. Um, like on the first, you guys will order what well, I won't get home until the sixth to start shipping. Okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. Now, um, we appreciate you. We appreciate you, but I definitely want to hit um, the ballot, uh, the mallet here. So we have um, deemed her as guilty. All right. She's guilty as charged. My call in number is 321 800 8445. 321-800-8445. Um, hopefully we can help this sister get back on. And uh, 
that's on that. So we didn't get a payment as of yet. We didn't get a cash yet, and those dragons didn't come. Thank you, juror number two. Well, her sentence, we gotta have to see where her sentence is right now because we're hoping that she pay in two days. Her sentence is to pay her back cash money, which is in the form of $200, um, $400, or send her back two dragons. Send her back two dragons. That's her, um, that's her penalty. That's her restitution. Mm -hmm. And we're waiting on that. And we can give her two days to do that. I think that's fair. We'll give her two days. Now we have the best life. So we do y'all now, big baby. Do you really have any questions? Big baby don't have any questions. All right. How about drop it, baby? How about Nosy Norris? Nosy Norris been in here all night. Nosy Norris, what about you? Nothing from Nosy Norris. Now how you just give me up here? I ain't come up here. I Nervous. Don't be nervous. I'll drop you. Don't get nervous. You got a question, Nosy Norris, before I drop you? I ain't nervous. I'm just going to say you did so good tonight, Empress. I love you, Judge Empress. And you are so sweet and kind-hearted. Y'all have a good night. Thank you, Nosy I'm going to finish being nosy. Thank you for being nosy to nosy self. Thank you, Nosy Norris. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. All right. We have Tamel. Tamel, when are you going to have a PK? You might get these three drags while you stand up here. Tamel, when do you have a PK or do you want me to pay you restitution on my family? Is it fool us? Hey, mama. Um, I know you I know you always tell me to do PKs. <laughs> I promise you next month is my birthday, mom. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign up for at least four PKs because you always tell me to do PKs. And I just be like, no. <laughs> I don't like them, but um, I, I am going to start doing them again because they were fun. Um, Penny says hi, and Mama. Hi, Sugar Plum. She said, hey, Sugar Plum. <laughs> so, but I promise you, it's, it's she said hi. <laughs> but I promise you, it's my birthday month, so I'm going to sign up for at least four PKs. You always tell me to do them, and I promise. What do you want me to do with the gift? Jojo on his way. Um, I am literally three. I literally am like three dragons away from my quota. Okay. We'll have a little fun. Okay, with I got a time to watch both of you too. Some soap, peppermint soap, all that, no? All right, hold on a second. Now we get to throw big gifts. Not the court shows. Turn to a dragon war. Not the dragon wars, mama. <laughs> How you been, though? I've been. I want to say, that's right. I do want to say thank you for supporting my brother Henny and his journey on. Uh, um, Henny, one of my new. Well, he really ain't. Okay. He wants my new headache. <laughs> Um, All right, here's some yeah. gifts for y'all. Is that a big gift? Okay, I'm Thank you. Oh, wow. What is that? That is bad. What is that, mama? What is oh, that? Oh, pretty. That baby for the, for the next. That, baby. that is really fast. Ain't it? Dang. Yeah. All right. What's so, that? No. Are you staying or are you going to go right home? I can just. Oh. Okay, and I'll let y'all see another gift. You can take a plate if you want. So I'm telling y'all. Oh, that, those are funky little things. I don't ever be. Um... Thank you, Miss okay. I Appreciate it. Yeah, the end right there. Thank you, Mama. But um, yes, it's so good seeing you again this month. You know, I'm gonna come see you every month. Thank you, y'all. Appreciate it. And... To the shuttle, then I I know, hold on. Oh, these are funky little things. All right, thank you guys.
All right, so you did. Yes. Hold up, um, D. So congratulations to me. I love you, baby. Um, anybody else have any more questions for this lovely lady before we drop? Just a question, y'all. One question, not too much. Swiss is coming up next. I know why right? he's in the holding. We have another cut, cut. We have another court case right after this. Any one more question, Miss High? Real quick, just a question. No, sis. All right. We have a court case coming up right after this. So this court case, you guys, don't leave. It's going to be really good. So basically, um, there's a brother that don't appreciate another brother beating on a woman. There's a man that's been accused of beating on a woman. Woo! Hey, um, get off here! Oh, the purge. We saw you. We heard you cursing somebody. We saw you going in. Don't Hell yeah. Hold on. I ain't uh -huh. even look. Look, look, look. Go ahead and ask a question. What you cussing self? We are. So you done left that girl to finesse you. You know how many people see the finesse? I ain't want my face up here. Man, listen. I'm glad you got up out of that shit. All right. Take your lost. Move on. Because that's what she do. She a scammer just like Mooch. And I want to take that nigga to court and project her. And I got all the receipts. Right. Um, yes. Move on. Live your life. You got it. Clearly, you can make it. Fuck that bitch. That's all I got to say. That's all, y'all. Right. Right. Hell no. But I just you. couldn't let it go. But I just couldn't let it go down easy oh. like that. Cause you're not about to do me wrong and get away with it. I'm about to express myself somehow, some way. Okay. Well, my beautiful, the quota. At least we was able to do that okay. for you. Thank you. And we'll appreciate okay, you. Thank you. We'll uh, follow Pretty TT23. Follow me, and let's see. Can we get you? Um, uh, we can get you in a family, and then start showing you the BOC way. Okay. Can I get thank you. I appreciate it. Basketballs in the comments. Yeah, you can go ahead and put a basketball in that name at some point when Pretty TT hook you up. Basketballs in the comments, please. Period. And that's that. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for um, having, um as your judge. Case is um she's found guilty, and we're giving her two days to pay, and we will revisit this case in two days. Okay. Thank you. Also, Charm School auditions for the females. <sighs> Maybe we'll be held tomorrow. We have another case that's about to start right now. Thank you so much, Doobies. You may drop my love. God bless you. Okay, thank All right, you. I'll have another case that's about to start. <clears throat> Whew, this case is about one brother trying to support a woman. This case is about a brother trying to make another brother understand you just can't beat on a woman, man, and no other man can't say anything to you. So the next case involves this gentleman. His name is Swiss. All right. Swiss um, is a part of no family. Hey, Swiss, y'all didn't see Swiss can yeehaw, Swiss. Period. Great. Um, so basically, um, Swiss is friends with a lovely lady that's on this app that came to him for um, some support. Allegedly, allegedly, she has been beaten by her boyfriend, which we know him on the app as Donald Rich. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, correct. All right. So um, the name of this court case is I am not my brother's keeper. I am not my brother's keeper. All right. Um, and we're going to get right into it. Wait a freaking minute. Yes, that's what I said. Donald Rich allegedly is beating on the woman that he lives with. And the facts are going to come out. There's been some receipts that's been sent to me, Donnie. Yep. Um, can you send a hi to me real quick, Swiss, so your receipts can jump to the top of my page? Send, just send hi to me on that number you have for me. Yes, you guys. Yeah, yeah. that's the alleged. From the yeah. number. Say that again. The same number that you've been texting me on, just text hi so, I, so your receipts can jump to the top. Okay, hold up. Oh, yeah, y'all. So, yeah. So, do you got that, Fruitful? Uh, Fruitful, when you're ready, you can actually stop recording and we can start over. I'll announce, I will announce this again if you don't mind, if you want me to, Fruitful. I'm sorry, Corky. Oh, Corky, give me a break. I can't do this with you, Corky. It's not me. It's just the receipts, Corky. It ain't me. I swear. It ain't me. It's the receipts. 
Okay, so let's get into it. All right, so let's get this phone. Hold on, I'm 